Well, we have joining us right now to discuss the ERGP, the Economic Growth and Recovery Plan, um, Mr. David Iweta, who is the president of the Sapelet Chamber of Commerce and also chairman of Nasima's National Economic Committee. You're welcome to Sunrise Daily. Thank you so much. Good morning. Good morning. So far, so good. We have seen that uh, we've seen that we've had about four consecutive quarters of growth from uh, when we're coming from in the recession. Would you say that so far the ERGP has been working and achieving what it set out to do? Well, for me, I think uh, that is not uh, the positive direction or the kind of uh, expected growth that one in the private sector would expect to derive from the ERGP concept or uh, from the government ang angle. Now, before the recession, where were we in terms of foreign exchange position? Where were we in terms of unemployment level? Where were we in terms of gross domestic product? Where were we in terms of corporate profits? And other service provisions. And now we have left that point by 2016 through to 2017. And the ERGP is said to be a three-year program remaining from 2018 to 2020. And now I've just been, I've just watched the minister said that the ERGP have ident identified about 59 three-star to five-star projects without naming specifics what the projects are. And there is a discussion or mention about $25 billion to drive those projects. We have not been told the sources of those funding. Is it coming from the World Bank? Is it coming from African Development Bank? Is it coming from, you know, foreign direct investment? Is it a local investor generated way of funding or is it by central bank intervention funds? So these keep me worrying. Have you read the ERGP itself? Well, the ERGP document I saw was about 150 pages. One figure I could derive from there about the expected derivative from the project is increasing CIT and VAT from 5% to 15%. And that will give about 350 billion naira annually. And that comes to less than $1 billion. And for the rest three years remaining, since ERGP has not been implemented, it can only but give you less than $3 billion. Uh, and so- I'm sorry, I don't understand you. When you say that ERGP has not been implemented, are you talking about it not being implemented now or is this still in abeyance somewhere? How do you mean? Now, ERGP, as far as you and I is concerned, is almost being launched from what I can see on television right now. It's been launched before now. Okay, when it was launched, what was the position? And now, what is the miles they have traveled? Okay, Mr. Iwita, uh, I want to take you back to one of your original statements because I think it's important for our viewers to get the facts. Uh, uh, this report you just saw was not the launch of the ERGP, but rather the launch of a segment of the ERGP, which is called Focus Labs. And I believe the idea is that they bring in investors to particular parts of the country to relate with state governments to do projects of mutual interest. You asked about the funding. I believe the funding is from the private sector. With that said, uh, if you look at kind of the generality of the ERGP and what it's trying to achieve, you said it's not been implemented yet. Federal government would probably look at diversification and some of the efforts in agriculture to say it has been. What are your thoughts on that? No, sir. The issue of agriculture success, particularly in the area of rice, which is centered on Uncle Boras Fund of the Central Bank, is a function of CBN intervention fund. Okay? And that, as we speak, if I would move a little bit, it's not impacting on the pricing of the commodity because the price of locally produced rice is still tallying with the price of imported rice. And looking at that too, if you look at the price of cement, it's also as equating, co comparing the exchange rate for imported I mean, a cement. 
If you also look at the price of sugar, the sugar imported cost and the locally refined sugar still are the same price. So I do not see the kind of progress that is being made or being recorded. And you cannot say there are progress when you don't give a progress movement of employment for 2016, 2017, and what you expect to achieve in terms of employment reduction by 2018.